Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. I'm back with my buddy Frankie. We are doing something completely different today. A little bit. Like I'm so used to you building tire shredding madness. This is not tire shredding madness. This is run over tire shredding madness. I mean, it, it barks gears a little bit, but it's not the usual tire smoker. This is a 1945 Dodge carry all command car. So this was essentially like the sergeant's car that had all the communications in it. So we had the comm boxes and all that in here. So I've literally never met the customer. Um, kind of a trip building a car for someone like that, but it's been actually a really great experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he gave me a parameter of making it stick shift so it's hard for his kids to drive. He basically drove it once and said, this thing only goes 45. And I said, yeah, it's built in 1945. Oh, it's not course. gonna go. So now it's like a 75 mile an hour cruiser. I mean, it's still a little wild to drive at 75, 80, but. Yeah, I can't, we're not gonna be doing that today, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie likes to test the limits of power always. Kinda. So this got dropped off to the shop and it was basically all stock. The customer had bought it from an auction, not knowing it's slow. We're like, what do we do with this thing? So the most logical thing was come in swap and then we're like, okay, well, why don't we start with like some kind of Dodge chassis? So we basically went and bought a 2003 Dodge 2500. And pickup truck. Pickup truck. So this chassis, front suspension, and basically the frame rails before the rear tires is all, this is all like a 2500 Ram. We moved the engine to accommodate this, and that's like a whole nother conversation, but we actually, we actually moved the engine back almost 10 inches. So you needed power to put, I mean, they're massive 37s on this thing. Yeah, we wanted to have something that looked good. Like, yeah, so yeah. something that didn't look out of place right. and it still needed to push that tire. Um, that's actually a black Rhino wheel, if you look at it. So it's like, this is a conventional wheel that we bought off the shelf and we took all the plastic hardware that comes with it, you know, kind of just like the cheesy stuff to make it look like a beadlock. We actually took all those out, drilled and tapped every single one of those bolts, shortened the stud, and put uh, actual real hardware on it to make it look real. Because the, the cheap ones look fake, and like we were just like, we can't do that, and Sam literally had this up on a mill and just drilling and tapping every one of those on every wheel. Unbelievable. Okay, back to the engine then. What You said it's a 5.9? 5.9 Cummins. You could pretty much go into the parts store and say, yeah, this is a 2003 2500 Dodge. Brakes, engine, trans, differentials. All that stuff's off mm -hmm. of 2500. Mm -hmm. Basically, the front point to about pass this battery box is literally where we cut the chassis because it was leaf sprung. We didn't want to have a leaf spring rear. We're not carrying or towing with this thing. We're just carrying some people. We did a triangulated four link underneath the rear, which is more off-road style, and then use the ADS shocks all the way around to you know, give it a nice ride. It still has about 10 inches of travel all the way around. Fairly decent for what he's gonna do. I mean, he's Not basically- gonna go jumping it or anything. Nah, man, this is like cruising PCH kind of vehicle, have fun, just a reliable, yeah. dailyable vehicle. I mean, I just drove all the way from Long Beach to here. Yeah, no problems. Just. And it's just as unique as it can be. I mean, you're I mean, not going to see are, anything like this. No, people are like staring at you like, what is that? I'm there sure. You're getting a thumbs up or just like, what in the hell is that? Yeah. You know? I can only imagine, dude. I mean, it looks so military industrial still, you know, mm -hmm. it really does. So we extended the wheelbase actually. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. So on these, if you look at a picture, cut to the picture, you'll yeah. see that the opening <laughs> was like this. So it was a real pain in the ass to get in here. Plus there was like a comms box right here. So when you sat in here, you were like all hunched over. It was uncomfortable. We decided to take the comms box out. As yeah. cool as it was to have all the radios and stuff, we just took it out. Yeah. And then Sam actually hand formed this whole detail around here. And so all of this trim work is all hand yeah. formed. From for the backside, Sam. Uh, this was the original shape. He matched it to that. He matched it to this and uh, basically made it really nice to get into. So if you think about it, the fender was here. So you had a step like right here to like crawl and in. squeeze in there. It's like, dude, no one wants to do that. So For moving sure. it back, we're like, dude, if we move the powertrain, everything back and then cheat the wheelbase, 
We moved the fender back so it eliminated the rear overhang of the body, so it looks all uniform. So when you look at it, you're like, oh wow, it's uniform. The bot, like the back seat looked like it was hanging off the tires before. Oh really? Yeah. So all this is all shaped. All this is pushed back. I think it was like close to 16 inches. How much we pushed it back. So yeah. we wanted to make sure this thing felt very stable. So this thing like feels like you'll feel it. It feels like a tank when you're driving it. It's like okay, yeah, this feels like it's got some like girth to it, you yeah. know? It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, you know most people look at it and go, what kind of a Jeep is that? Because it looks like mm -hmm. a Jeep, right? It looks yeah. like an old military Jeep. I think someone actually called it a Jeep today on the post. I'm like, eh, it's a Dodge. So how about interior? Is this all stock interior stuff here? Basically stock interior. Um, believe it or not, this thing had some wooden framing um, original to this thing. I don't know if it was original to when they built it, but I'm like, okay, we got to redo it. So Sam uh, found the same thickness tubing and made some of this framing and made it very safe. What is this? Is, was this the big antenna? Yeah, that's basically an antenna. And like I said, the comms box was back here. And then this, I know, because we dropped it a little while ago, the, the windshield completely drops down. Yeah, like safari style, like a, it's pretty cool. So we're pretty particular about like specking brakes and like making sure the right stuff's there for the clutch and just having the right feel. So part of every build recently and ongoing is putting a tilt and pedal box in it. So we got manual brakes, it's actually hidden. I hate seeing masters off a of firewall. There's nothing like, that part of it for like a show vehicle drives me nuts. I don't yeah. like seeing, it, just, it always looks ugly. Hide yeah. it under the dash. Spend the time, put a pedal box in it. So that's where your master is, is under the dash? <laughs> so it's pretty trick. So the masters are all attached to the pedals and then the reservoirs are right here where the vents used to be. This oh, used to be dude. a vent for the cabin. So now this is where your reservoirs are for brake, clutch. That's really smart. Yeah. That's that's smart repurposing right there, man. So that was pretty cool. That's Sam's like, what if we put it right access. here? I'm like, I don't care, let's do it. That's that's cool. That's friggin' easy, easy access. All right, well, we're gonna go for a drive. Now, mind you, I am a little nervous. I've noticed that there's lap belts only. There are no doors in this thing. Um, I like that big bumper up there, so if we hit anything, I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, and I do like that there's an e-brake, but I also know Frankie and Sam over at P2 and you guys build actually safe functioning driving vehicles. All right, let's go for a drive now. All right, fire it up. Is, is that an old start button? No. <laughs> Got a horn, Paul. So bitching, dude. Pretty cool, right? I would so beach cruise this thing. That's literally what it's gonna be, the beach cruiser. Man, you sit up high in this thing. Yeah. No worries about bumps, potholes. This is a perfect LA cruiser, actually. Yeah, it is. That sounds bitching. Right? It sounds great. So you're already like at max speed on the original, oh, pretty much. Dude, for sure. And it would have taken you like four minutes. Yeah, to look, max speed 55 <laughs> on fourth gear. It's actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, not bad, right? And like going down the road, it feels totally comfortable. Like the, it's not overly stiff and bouncy. And you were saying the running boards on this Sam, Sam made these floors to match the running boards. Yeah, he had to redo some of the diamond shapes because we had to cut away for the engine. If you look, the engine and trans is offset to the passenger side slightly. Yeah. Um, that's how they were from the factory as well. But we had to cheat all that. So if you look by your foot right there, like right we had here? to like, you know, those diamonds that are like in a row, we had oh, to yeah. kind of reshape all those and metal finish them. but. We wanted to keep it kind of all like a little, like weathered kind of look, you know? Like this was yeah. really used in combat or something. Oh, you're not kidding, it'll... Oh yeah, it'll turn. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Let's see if it'll do it for us. Ah, a little Maybe bit. A little bit? A little bit. It's just 
because it has so much torque, huh? Yeah, it's all torque. I mean, the horsepower is whatever. It's a diesel, but yeah, it's all torque. Yeah, yeah. Power is power, man. Definitely a different type of vehicle for us to shoot, but every bit as cool as anything we've ever shot. I absolutely love what Frankie and his partner Sam do over at P2 Fabrication. These guys have great imaginations, great execution, and at the end of the day, put vehicles on the road that are badass, safe driving, kick-ass, cool vehicles. So hope you guys had fun with this one. Man, I just loved the little cruise we just took in this thing. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.